What up, peeps? It's your girl Dodge. Come back to Criminal Takes. Well, it's that time, guys. It's reaction time, and this is to the Sandman. This will be for the final episode, episode 11. This one is titled Dream of a Thousand Cats. It looks like it says slash Calliope, so I'm assuming two stories into one. Uh, I'm curious what this is about. I did see the thumbnail, and I stated this to someone that it was an animation thing, and I wasn't jumping to do it right away, but I don't feel like that's a disservice to everyone who's been watching my reactions to all the previous ones, which I've truly enjoyed. I've enjoyed this series, getting to know Lord Morpheus, enjoying, you know, Lucian, you know, Desire, Lucifer, Constantine, Corinthian, just everything about this overall series. Of course, let me give a shout out to all these characters. I know I'm missing a lot of them because, you know, talk about death. I could really go on. I've been immersed in this, like I stated before. Every episode, I just truly enjoy, especially seeing a little bit of like an evolution of how Lord Morpheus slash the Sandman has come in regards to how he's presented in the beginning of the first episode and knowing how some of the characters came to me, perceived him to be very cold at times and all that, and really coming into understanding some of the situations that present himself, how he deals with them, how he deals with individuals, learning a thing or two, especially with a couple of them in regards to, say, for instance, uh, Rose Walker, or dealing with situations with people who've been close to him, who've been there since, as they say, ride or die, Lucian. So I really have liked this. I love one of the, one of the episodes that where it was involved him in death and learning to really understand, you know, his their true purpose and what why they're here and what they're doing you know and then other episodes where you're dealing with very just interesting individuals you know doing things with just heinous and all that and thinking they're doing you know something that is of a service to people when it's really not it's more about you know them having some sort of power or whatever just so much going on it was a lot but i so enjoyed each and every episode up until now so you know what let's go ahead and just jump into it I'll see the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys. What will she be like? Who knows? Not this cat. <laughs> Some of you have traveled far to hear my message today. Left your warm, comfortable places. And I hope, when I have finished, you will all share my dream. He was my choice of lover. I never saw him again, but I did not forget him. Why didn't you keep her inside? I think they're kind of cute. Cute? She's a purebred registered blue point. He's a half breed. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Oh! Are you serious? I found them. I have come for justice, for revelation, for wisdom. In the mountain there is a cave. You'll find him there. But the way is hard. A little cat could come to much harm. Mm. Enter then, proud cat. But be warned, dreams have a price. I want to know. Why could they take my children from me? Why do we live as we do? I don't understand. Many, many seasons ago, cats truly ruled this world. The game of cat and man. Dream of a new world. A world where we are no longer hunted. No longer prey. If enough of us dream it, it will happen. They dreamed. And the next day, things change. We were prey to them. The burden you must bear. Are you strong enough? Yes. I... I hope so. Then wait, child. If enough of us dream, a bare thousand, we can dream a world where no cat suffers. Where no kittens die cold and alone. I believe. Then there is hope, child. 
Hmm, cats dream about. The way she's twitching, she's probably hunting something. Did you get it? Took some doing, but... Richard Maddock, to see you, Rasmus Fry. I've got it. Oh, then, come in, dear boy. Come in. Oh, a genuine trichino bezoa. And I suppose you'd like your present now. There she is. What would you with me now, Erasmus? Calliope, I'm giving you to Richard. Writers are liars, my dear. Mm. Surely you realize that by now. I, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can, oh, dear boy. Him. Well, he's some shit. Ah, take, take the, the little, little cow away, Richard, and never want to see either of you again. Just, Just for one book, and, and then, then I will. Be. One book. I swear I will. You're right. Writers are liars. Thank you. Thank you. I choose before I show my gifts. Perhaps we both need time to think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You seek to woo me with presents? Is this not how it's done? I think you know how it is done. I'm trying. Oh, my Cry. God, buddy. Do you not understand what she's saying to you? I'm talking about a book compared to her freedom. She's locked out. Why am I free? Mm hmm. Your what is this just called to harass me? But anything I can do, because you know that my client is. This is a purpose to inspire in my heart. I'll say something. Christians. Mother of the command, hear my prayer. It is I, your daughter. We feel your pain, don't tell what we cannot help. You were the snare of one hell of one according to the mysteries. You are now earthly bound. Yes. The dream king will never help me. Not after what I did to him. He hates me for that. And I despise him. I would not accept his help. Foolish child. Your prayers are wasted. There's nothing we can do for you. Please, nothing you can do to help. Is he going to change his name? How do you mean? From Richard to Rick. About the pay. I think it probably speaks to one of the things. Reinvention. I think it probably speaks to the world's potential. Maybe we'll decide to stay in LA. Maybe we will decide? <laughs> I was about to say. Because it's the name of the God of Dreams. You're mine. mine. By, By law. The God, God of Dreams can't, can't save you. Exactly you deserve soon enough. Even his death would not bring back what he has taken from me. Get out of my house. Be quiet. Mm. There are people more than you who are against the rule. I was the same school who wanted you to already shoot the man out of me. I need you to talk. If it's a good idea, you want to use your power. 
you guys I really enjoyed this episode well, really want to say episodes because it was two put into one and I want to just give a shout out to someone uh, Sam they know who they are for just pretty much brings to my attention that this being one that they enjoyed probably out of all of them as they stated and it's right up there <laughs> I have my two favorites, but this was probably like within the top three. So this is now number three. Needless to say, let's just kind of jump into the one with the dream of a thousand cats. That one was very interesting and definitely coming from a perspective of, you know, the feline. Now the main voice I caught, because I had to pull up to see who it was, because I said I recognized his voice and it was Sandra who's playing the prophet. When you see these particular cats, the kitten, and uh, I want to say the great cat, they all end up meeting a certain meeting place and you get to meet the prophet speaking, discussing why they are there, what led them here to tell a story for them to understand and see what possibly could be a situation where that can be somewhat, I think from their instance, change. Going back, you know, in regards to a moment in their lives where they thought everything was good, you know, dealing with the humans, you know, this particular cat meeting someone, of course, a male cat, and then, of course, having little kittens and all that. But then you see another side, which at first they're meant to believe, you know, these humans are great, this and that and other. And then this situation happens when this particular human, the male one, doesn't know what to do. So in regards to the kittens, doesn't want to deal with the herd, then decides to take them. The woman, of course, so it could be girlfriend or wife, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to take care of it. And at first I'm thinking, okay, it's going to give them, probably take them somewhere. So, you know, they could be adopted. Some other family could have them, you know, separating from their mother. Cause of course she wanted to teach them how to keep, you know, get food, clean themselves and all that. Just be a part of their lives. You know, the father's not around. It's, sorry piece of nonsense and trying to keep it clean takes them puts them in some little satchel with a brick and throws them to what now i will say this it's not that far fetched because some individual hate names some heinous things to some animals and that right there i was not expecting that scene it was just horrific and then the part where it goes back you know i don't think they know what really happened all that they're probably relieved that like, you don't know a damn thing last time i checked you're not psychic to know how a mother, being if it's you know an animal or not, feels or really knows that moment when their child's last breath. You just don't know anything. <laughs> I was just like so disgusted, you know, when they said it. But I said, you know what? 
that's just the mindset of some individuals really thinking they know something and doing some so heinous and that to absolve you of such a horrible thing you could have chosen to do. Take them to the power. Take them somewhere. Let somebody else. If you don't want to, you know, do you know, really, that was your way of dealing with it. I just had no words. Then you see, of course, in regards to how the cats ruled, and, you know, humans were smaller, smaller and showing them, you know, cleaning them, playing with them and all that, playing up to the point where they're still still considered food. <laughs> and then how eventually, you know, one rose up, one human, and then over time, eventually rose up. And then you see how the cats became smaller and the humans became more bigger and more, you know, control the narrative and how it was just a full switch. Very interesting. And wanting the prophet to kind of be clear if, you know, we, even if I get a thousand, you know, cats to believe and see and hopefully things can change, you know, the kittens kind of just take it all in. Some of them just eventually started to scatter, you know, like they're just like, yeah, okay. I like how that one cat that was walking with the kitten was like, it, you know, I would love to see the thought of thousands of cats coming together, you know, trying to do one thing all together simultaneously, like that would be a feat. <laughs> so he was just like, you know. I, I hear what she's saying. I, I understand what she's saying, but the thought of that many cats, I like how the kitten was like, I believe in you. And she's like, you know, she's, and that one person can turn into more and just wanting them and saying that they believed what the prophet was saying. So that was very interesting. I really enjoyed that episode. That was definitely something different. And just like going back to that part, you know, of dealing with a situation, this is not what you, you know, wanted to, you know, partake in. And this is the only logical thing that they thought was the necessary thing to be done with a situation that's you know I just yeah my mind's like no that's far from something I would even consider doing it so the fact that they actually went there and that that was just wow every time I think about it I'm just like my mind is just like I just was not expecting that now moving on to Calliope this one right here I had to really write my notes down on that one Seeing that we're dealing with a gentleman by the name of Richard, I want to say, what is it, Richard Marduk? I'm saying that lesson correctly. Or Maddox, excuse me. Richard Maddock. Man is, you know, definitely looks like he's a professor. He's trying to work on a new book. You know, got a, of course, you know, money up hand. They're waiting, giving him a time frame, but he can't seem to come up with anything. He reaches out to a gentleman by the name, I want to say, Erasmus Fry, that, you know, I'm assuming gives him a task to do something and he's going to be able to help him in his dire straits because he has no thoughts of what to write you know put pen to paper type up whatever he meets him at his home he brings him something in exchange for something that could help him and it's in a form looks like a human form a woman by the name of Calliope now right off the cuff as time is them discussing I didn't care for Mr. Fry I'm excuse my lady he's some shit <laughs> and then, of course, Maddox took on the mantle of that. Listening to him, you know, begrudgingly, the way he's discussing Calliope. Oh, no, don't worry. You know, she's really, you know, she's been here hundreds of years. She's not really human, this and that and all that. You know, she's, you know, her purpose is to inspire you. And, you know, she's, you know, the youngest of nine sisters. And she's bound to you. She's to help me. She's helped me. Whatever I can, you know, I'm no longer doing this whatever and all so it's almost like you know don't let this go to waste here you go i'm gonna give her to you now i'm about her she's with you and she's you know telling him you promise after you're done it's like you know remember writers are liars okay good to know all the while making her feel lesser than remember you you don't want to use somebody else to help you out you didn't truly nothing for her like keep her locked up and then him talking about ways of how he was able to use her way what he used as as he put it and i heard the word force and you can see the look on Maddox's face like he's not sure if he can do it. Right there, I felt from it that moment like, okay, that's the most genuine you can because you know this is not a good thing for you to do. And she really thought that he might change his mind. But when he went to her home, the thing that came out of his mouth was just help me with just one book, please. It's never just one. It's going to be multiple. And once you get that first book, you see how a couple of years have passed. You know, some people, you know, enjoying the book. Some of them kind of not sure. Oh, he, you know, he's, you know, so good. Now he done changed his name to Rick Maddock. It's not Richard anymore and things of that nature. And him, of course, at first it was, you know, giving her gifts, the flowers, the candies, whatever. She's like, this is not, this is how you think it's going to help me. It's like, I have to want to do this, whatever. And he's just like, you know, she's going to stay here. You know, we're going to, you know, be, be helpful to me. Lock her up. You were no better than the, the previous man. Like, you think you're doing something. No, you're not. And in an instance, you know, of course, you know, he had to come up with something because, you know, the 
the people of the publishing company like we you already got you know the money in advance just and all that and everything and eventually like i said he got one book out and probably did another but then i like how she eventually reaches out you see her talking to the three and then you see how she writes a little note she got because at first i'll be honest with you i don't know if i probably will put it in here where i'm just like woman you're walking down like i try to get up but i forget she is bound up so she really couldn't leave but i'm just thinking instantly like you're out of the room get out of there but she tries to reach out to morpheus and he doesn't realize that's the person you really don't want to come into contact with and he heard her call one thing i did not see coming was the fact that they had a relationship that was her husband they lost their child so it was like another other layers Mind you, prior to that, even though things had happened and it came up, she didn't know if he would forgive her. She, you know, didn't want nothing to do with him. It was just a bad separation of just them together. And just knowing her, certain things definitely played a part in that. Just her just not, you know, whatever, knowing that they had a child and they lost their child, probably the grieving. And then knowing he was dealing with their own things. You remember, you, have, you know, Burgess, you know, he was locked up for a long time so of course but then to know he did hear a call and he came there and he's like you've been here over six years and just like okay i'm gonna make he's like what are you gonna do and i'm just like oh wow he shows up he's like you know what are you doing he's like you know i'm morpheus and at first he wasn't sure but he part remember when he took that sheet and ripped it up threw it in the fire like that up really was just gonna absolve like no and i like how he eventually came for him he's you know in there speaking to his students and he's you know saying some things and all of a sudden he goes off you know into a totally different uh, conversation and they look and i'm like how do you come up with your ideas whatever and all that and at first he had a good response but then it just kept coming kept coming coming and it got even more just weird and then you know one of the students who helped him get something that he took to mr fry she's just like something's not right and he's just like what did you do in your hands oh he had to write the stuff down he's like i'm thinking so fast yeah buddy you didn't have nothing to think before now you have so much like he said and i'm gonna give it to you in an abundance he sure did with blood included <laughs> just like I did not feel for him like you you deserve this but I, I will give it to her when he told the girl to go there release her after you feeling a certain way oh now release her now you know you should release her at the beginning when you were not sure about this it would have made the guy think that you're like okay thank you and then when you got there release her she might have helped you and she could have been on her way but I know we need to progress the story don't get me wrong but I will say this and it was definitely pointing it after the girl opened the door she actually is released and you see her discussing it with morpheus and i'm you know her thanking him and you know do you forgive me for it and all that and i like how she was like go can you release him can you yes it's not, it's not for him it's a person more so for me and trust and believe me Sometimes it might seem like it's hard to do, but in the end, it's, it, it's, it's necessary, you know, I'm probably using myself as an example. When you're dealing with somebody and you dealt with something, you know, that has really hurt or harmed you and all that, sometimes it's not for them, it's for yourself. And I really felt her when she said that. And he's like, as you wish, I will do that. Now, I will say this, even though he was released, now he's back to where he was. He really can't remember who it was. He can't remember things. He can't really think. He's just totally clueless. Who's this woman? He's lucky because what could have went down is if she did find this woman in there and saw that, whatever, would we know that wasn't going to happen with her and all that? What if he did? They were like, you're keeping a woman locked up in here? Whatever. No, you'd probably got locked up. And you would have been sitting behind all four walls, staring up at the sky, you know, like, how did I get myself here? So that's the price he'll have to pay. No more writing books, buddy those days are over <laughs> so i really enjoy that and i like how she was like you know can i visit you in your realm so we can you know really have a proper grieving of the child they lost that is just very interesting. i was not expecting that i figured he had lovers or something you know people he cared about in his past but not to this extent throughout the whole series and that never came up where i knew he was married so that little realization was just like what so yes i really enjoyed learning a little bit some more about that i will say this um when she said you know the fact that he helped her and not say forgive but she was like you know in the past you you know you probably left me locked up whatever and you see the look on his face like yeah you can see the impression you left on a lot of individuals from the way you dealt with things or, or in dealt with making these types of decisions and certain judgment of them. And I like how he really sees the effect he had in the past. He's like, I've changed, I've done this. And I was glad that it really happened because like I said, one of the episodes, you know, and I'm not remembering the title at the moment where he was visiting death and it was just like, it needed to happen because a lot of people 
that's why a lot of them when the realm was you know destroyed things were happening and all that when he was locked up with and all that they weren't coming back whatever you see him was one of those ones ride or die you see she's the potential she knows he was you know overall a good person but it was just he he needed this that probably really happened even though it's unfortunate it was so long for him to get more perspective and then go through certain things and really see that yeah you need to make a change when you're dealing with this that's why i was kind of glad over the course of the episodes we saw i could see it happening and then her saying it like that for me like grass with this woman you were married to and she's saying the same thing where some people are showing the hardship of how you were you know treated others so yes i really enjoyed this i will say this and i'm, I'm going to be finished with my rap i'm glad i was being lazy not doing this last and final episode or episodes but i'm glad like i said it before this one individual kind of brought it to me like you know are you going to check it out <laughs> and I was kind of hesitant you know like it needs to be done anyway I wasn't going to just leave it hanging with the episode 10 but I'm glad I did I would have been missing out you know prolonging it so again comment below you guys I would love to know what you think and with that said I'll see you guys in the next reaction you guys take care